This is Jeopardy for Sluts. Let's meet our contestants. She was the only Caucasian at an Asian massage parlor and still holds the record for happy endings. Please welcome Fonda Sachs, a cocktail waitress and part-time whore. Give it up for Betty Fuchs, a single mom who lives with her three stepdads and can actually suck a golf ball through a garden hose. Give a warm Jeopardy for Sluts welcome to Sharon Peters. Uh-huh. And now here's the creator and your host of Jeopardy for Sluts, Hi, I'm Bob Cavoya. Fonda, I'll start with you. Oh, I'd like that. Mm. <laughs> no, I mean choose a category. Oh, oh, I'll take naughty nursery rhymes for a hundred, please. The answer is he stuck in his thumb and pulled out a... Sharon? What is a 20? <laughs> Correct, Sharon, continue. Mm, naughty nursery rhymes for 500. The answer is Peter Peter Blank Eater. Fonda? What is paid to? You're on the board, Fonda. Continue. <laughs> Naughty nursery rhymes for a thousand, please. <laughs> the answer is, there was an old lady who lived in a... Sharon? Trailer park and kept her stepdaughter tied up all day and burned her with cigarettes. Ooh, sorry, Sharon. Not in the form of a question. Sharon, you lose your turn. Betty, it moves to you. Choose a category. Body punchlines for 100. The answer is helping Jack off a horse. <laughs> Betty? What is how did Jackie Kennedy break her arm? Correct. Continue. Body punchlines for 500. The answer is TWA coffee, TWA milk, and... Betty? What is TWA tea? Correct. Continue. I'll stick with body punchlines for 1,000. The answer is, boy, what I like a little vagina. Fonda? What are Asian businessmen? No. Betty? Who is Ellen DeGeneres? Sorry. Sharon? What is $20? Incorrect. I mean, what is $20 just like downtown? Ladies, the correct answer is, boy, I sure would like a little vagina. So would I, because mine's as big as a hat. Yes. Big as a hat. Let's pause for a moment and review our scores. Betty, you're on top. Just the way I like it. With minus 400. Fonda is right on Betty's tail with minus 500 breathing down Betty's neck. Just the way I like it. And excuse me while I step behind the podium. And Sharon at negative 1900. Sharon, you're really going to have to get on the ball to get ahead. Sharon, you're on the bottom. <laughs> Choose a category. Famous dicks for 100. The answer is, this dick is a Hall of Fame Chicago Bear linebacker. Fonda? Who is Dick Butkus? Yes, continue. Famous dicks for 500. This famous president was known as Tricky Dick. Betty? Who was Dick Nixon? Good, go again. Famous dicks for a thousand. The answer is enormous dick. Sharon? Who is Jerome? Hmm, so... Oh, the judges say yes. We would have also accepted Tom Griswold. Now it's time to play Final Jeopardy for Sluts. Final Jeopardy for Sluts is famous quotes. The answer is give me liberty or give me blank. We'll start with Sharon. What is $20? <laughs> Incorrect, Sharon. Fonda? What is dinner? Sorry, Fonda. So sorry. Betty is in the lead, and she answered... What is head? Head is correct. <laughs> that, of course, from the porno classic The Midnight Ride of Paula's Rear, starring that great star, Greg Holbanger. So, Betty, that makes you our new Jeopardy for Sluts champion. Until next time, I'm Bob Gaboyan. <laughs> All contestants on Jeopardy for Sluts receive a private photo shoot courtesy of Bob Cavoyan's Show Your Pink Photo Studios, Mr. Cavoyan's wardrobe courtesy of Dress Left, Dress Low of Beverly Hills. All contestants stay at Bob Cavoyan's house in Studio City. This has been Jeopardy for Sluts. <laughs> a new classic.